All right, today we are installing that solar water fountain. I've already made the concrete square. If you haven't seen how that's made, you can click on this video at the top here. The solar pump I got on Amazon. It is a fairly basic submersible fountain pump powered by a solar panel. There's no battery to it. There's no storage system for the power, so it's only gonna run if the panel is in direct sunlight. I don't know how it's gonna perform on cloudy days. It will not run at night, but we are gonna install it anyways to see what it's capable of. And at the very least, there'll be a pretty little fountain running when the sun's out, which might be kind of cool because who gardens when the sun's not out? My older brother Kevin is next in line for a free water feature, so he's volunteered his front yard to have a little one put in. We are running to Home Depot right now because we have the fountain and the pump, but we have nothing else we need. So I think I can pick up everything else I need in one trip to the hardware store. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So this is the front of my brother's house. My plan is to build it right here under this downspout so that when it rains, the gutter can pour into it and fill it up. And it will be right near his front entryway so that when you pull up in his driveway, you can see it from the cars and then you have to walk past it to get to the front door. So I finished digging this hole and then I went and I ate lunch and now I'm back. I've got my block lined out so I know how big the hole needs to be and I've got my pond liner here that I'm going to use. But before I start putting this all in the ground, I want to stack it up out here so that you guys can see what it looks like before I put it in so that you can see how I'm stacking it in place. So I'm going to have these two cinder blocks on the bottom, these two cinder blocks above it. This is a plastic container lid. I've cut my hole for the pipe. It's gonna sit here on top of our block and it's gonna rest on the edges of my hole. This is just to hold the river rock up. This little river rock is gonna rest in here and it'll keep it from falling down into the hole. All of the weight of the fountain is on these blocks. So these will sit here. My fountain, the square thing, is gonna set down on here with the hose through the hole and I'll be able to hook up my pump to it underneath here. And that's how this is all gonna set in the hole on top of the pond liner, and we're gonna put that in now. So, as you can see, my hole is about a foot and a half deep. It's like just below my knees from where I'm standing. But the ledge around the hole slopes down into the hole so that if water splashes out, my liner is gonna stick up out past the edges of the hole, and it will then flow into the hole where the void is and all the water is stored. And and that's where the cinder block goes with the plastic lid to keep the rock from falling into the void. Now when I set these cinder block in here on the liner, I need to make sure they're level. But if the liner is in already, then it's hard to re-dig without taking the liner in and out. So I'm just going to leave the liner out while I set my first two blocks to get them level on the dirt. And then we'll put the pond liner in and set the block on it after we know it's level. So while this is filling up with water, this is my pump and this is my hose. This fits inside the pipe at the bottom of the fountain and it also fits over the top of this. So I'm just going to be pushing this on, sticking this at the very bottom of our basin and slip this up into the bottom of our concrete fountain. It's that simple. I don't have a box in it, I don't have any extra filters for it. This pops up if I want to clean it and there's the foam in there. But for the most part, I'm able to just slide this in there and hook it together. All right, so I'm gonna cut up what's left of this broken box to fill in around the edge. Again, just to keep the rock from falling down in there. Plus that will allow the water to go down between the plastic. So I'm gonna use this plastic to fill in spaces and then use our rock to cover all the plastic so you don't see it. And then we'll clean up the soil around it 
and I think we'll call it done. What I did to keep it relatively stable was I took those two cinder blocks and I pressed them up together against the pipe and those bolts so that it doesn't tip over super easily. Plus with the rock around it, we'll sort of pin it in place. Yes, I could push it over if I wanted to. But this isn't an area that people play. There's never kids playing here. There's not a lot of animal traffic here. I don't think my brother's dog would knock it over. I think it's stable enough to put this in place and leave it here. If my kids were playing around it, I might consider making it more stable. But I don't think that's going to be an issue. I almost ran out of the little river rock, but I think I made it work. I probably could have used a little bit more. I think I had to bring the bark in to the feature a little farther than I probably should have, because it's going to soak up some of that splash and maybe lose it. But I think there's enough in the basin that he shouldn't have to top it off very often. Plus, with the rain gutter there in the winter, spring, and fall, if it's raining, he won't have to fill it at all because the rain gutter is going to fill it. So the last thing I have to do is figure out where I want this solar panel. Another reason I selected this spot is because of the gutter right there next to the covered porch. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that cord up the gutter and then stick that solar panel up on top of the porch roof. I might even just lay it there because you won't ever see it. And I don't think it's light enough to blow away in the wind. Well, you can sort of see the cord up at the top of the gutter. So I might have to talk to my brother and see if he cares because I'm gonna have to hide that a little bit better. But, you get the point. Love this i think it turned out awesome i wasn't even expecting to get this done today it maybe took me five hours to install it that doesn't include the framing and molding the concrete but with the concrete complete it took me about four or five hours to install it i think these are awesome not just the square design but these little bubbling water features are so nice because they're really quick to install they require almost no space to put in this whole thing fits in like a four by six square so you really don't need a whole lot of land. And with the solar panel, you don't even need to run power to it. Once you fill it up and hook it to the panel, as long as the panel is somewhere out of sight where it gets sunshine, you don't have to run electrical to it. You could put this thing out in the middle of a field and it would run when the sun's up. So hopefully this video was entertaining or maybe you learned something. If you like this project and you want to see more of my projects, you can go check out my channel. You can subscribe there for other content. Remember to like this video and comment below. That would be awesome. I'm going to put links in the description to the pump and pond liner so that you guys can pick those up for yourselves. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.